Hello, welcome back. I accidentally destroyed a Psyduck off camera just now because if you throw a Pokemon, they just sort of like go. I guess they fight stuff sometimes. Like I just threw Lechonk here and Lechonk then destroyed a Psyduck just because Lechonk felt like doing so, I guess. And then, wait, and then Scoville leveled up. So that happened. I can't get you to do it again, it seems. Oh, Magikarp are over here. That's important. And also... Ah! I like how if you just stand still, Pokémon just seem to, like, gather around you and look at you. They're like, what's this weird human doing? Anyway, welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Time for more catching of Pokemon and traveling of the land and whatnot. Still like the dynamic battle music so far. That's just pretty cool, it's nice. Oh no. He has become water element. There's a lot of Pokemon to catch immediately, too, is what it seems like. I wonder if I could just wander off on my own at this point, like, already, even though I have objectives. I should probably not do that just yet. But I wonder... maybe I could. Just thinking about it. Echoed voice. So Pig is a lot about singing. That's a good sentence that I just said. It inflates its flotation sack, keeping its face above water in order to watch for prey movement. Good job, Weasel. That looked like a good pose. Gotta look at it. Many weasels are posing here. Fair enough. I did see a Magikarp. I always feel like all these Pokemon are just like observing. Whoa! That Magikarp do be jumping! Whoa! Hey there. All these Pokemon just looking at me. Consecutive use of this move boosts its power. Not that one. This one. Using it another time would be a bad idea, though, actually. We do have to catch the Magikarp. Do you think? Place your bets now. Will the Pokemon Violet Pokemon Pokedex entry for Magikarp be unreasonably rude to Magikarp like they are many times? Or will it be, like, kind of okay to Magikarp? Emerald's Rhyhorn entry is, like, the most rude dex entry I can think of, though, at the moment. Alright. Don't be too mean to Magikarp or I'll be sad, okay? In the, in the distant past, it was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak descendants that exist today. Well, I guess I'll be sad, then. Always rude to this dang old fish. Very shiny now, though. Tell me about the magic card. It's a fast one. I don't particularly need to use a magic card for any purpose, but you know, I will feel sad for it. Look, they're doing just fine. Be kind to Magikarp, or I'll be sad. I told you this. No gimme ghouls under this bridge. Gotta keep a lookout for any weird... Pokemon... as well. Speaking of, that's Paldean Wooper immediately! I need you in my party! I didn't think they'd give me Paldean Wooper immediately. That's incredible. 
Chaldean Looper is an incredible friend. You shall not leave my party. Unless you suck. I hope you're a good whooper. Just kidding, all whoopers are good. There's no such thing as a bad whooper. Whooper slime. It's dangerous for a whooper, whooper to travel alone. Take this. They line up in groups of three or four and help each other as they walk around the wetlands. Aw. I will not give you a nickname yet. Tell me your stat. Okay, minus defense, that's fine. Also, Terra-type poison. I wonder if a dual-type Pokémon terastalizing means they are only a single type afterwards? Look at the little face on this lady! She's so happy. Add to the party. Get out of here, Diglett. Best ground type just dropped. So happy. Ah, oh, look at them all. I love them. Well, uh... What can I say but whoop? Oh. Azura will do a swim. Pig. Pig is confused. There's the whooper again. A uh, Ralts over here? Well, I mean, whooper's not gonna do a good job against this particular Pokemon. Hey, oh. I'm almost, I'm almost out of Pokeballs already, I think. Oh right, Ralts is Pride Fairy now too, I think. Okay, I have two left after this one. I've yet to fail a catch, so that's good at least. I wonder if catching has been made more generous or if I've been getting lucky? Because Ralts has a lower catch rate too, as I recall. Ralts dust. It's highly attuned to the emotions of people in Pokemon. It hides if it senses hostility. Ah, well, Ralts knows that I am friendly. Because he was just sitting there. I guess. Feeling Pokemon. Item. Ah, I have another Pokeball now. Item. Ah, I have another Pokeball now. Good. And there's a child over here. Got my Pokemon all healed up! Hey, why do they all have these uniforms? If you can beat me, I'll tell you a cool secret. Does the Academy just accept all ages? Is there like a... Zahira, the student. I guess they probably have a wide age range in the Academy. Or there's like multiple schools or something. Was the cool secret that Wooper is great? Because I knew that one already. Whooper will destroy and become powerful. What's the cool secret that you're gonna tell me anyways? I need to know about secrets.
What are you gonna tell me, Zahira? I kind of wish there was like a zoom in on the the loss animations and stuff. Oh, I lost, even though my Pokemon had full HP. Mine did too. What's the secret? Pokemon Centers will heal all your Pokemon for free! What do you mean you already knew that? I mean, you wouldn't know that if this was your first Pokemon game, possibly. I think that's still valuable information. Fido! And Iglybuff, I guess. But most importantly, Fido. Dog. Dog of bread. I love the dog of bread. What ridiculous Pokemon will you evolve into, I wonder? Bread of dog, dog of bread. It's risky to... Well, no, Wooper. Good job, Wooper. Yeah. Was that Poco Center? Did it have an advertisement with a wheel on it? I think it did. Whooper up. The yeast in Fido's breath is useful for cooking, so this Pokemon has been protected by people since long ago. I don't know of a nickname for the puppy. However, now we have a party of all new Pokemon. If you count variants as new, which they are. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh, right. Gotta push the button and learn about a dog. Gotta look at a dog, I mean. That's Fido. Hello, Fido. I like all the little pictures. They're good. Whoopers in danger. There was an Iglybuff over here. I see you still. You won't escape me. Who's letting all these babies roam the wilds? Anyway. Forgot about your typing. So far, I'm getting an impression that if you wanted to do a fairy type only run of this game, you'd be pretty in luck, at least right away. There's a decent number of them so far, oddly enough. Ow, my bug. Do not. Do not be rude to the bug. Higgly Buff Fluff. It likes to sing, but is not yet good at it. With praise and encouragement, it will get better little by little. Aw. I think they made Igly Buff cuter than Igly Buff used to be, as well. To the box with you. That's Igly Buffs. Multiple of Igly Buff. Anything else wacky around these parts? Just beeping Igly Buffs. As they do, apparently. Ralts again. Wooper again. Pokemon don't seem to go out of their way to, like, attack you or anything. At least not yet. Though there is... A sneaky button. Hey, is that... Is that... Bounce Sweet? Oh, hey, Piper, over here! 
Hey, I saw a bounce suite though. I don't know if that was somebody's or what. This here's a Pokemon Center. You can come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon. But I'll leave the explanations to the pros here. Happy to be of service, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left is the Pokemon Pokemart counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept Poke we accept payment in both cash and in LP, league points that is. One LP is worth one dollar. And this to my right is the technical machine machine. The TM machine for short. Okay. It's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach move to your Pokemon. Moves. You'll need to pay an LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokemon drop. LP comes in handy, both at these machines and at stores. I've got a lot. Here, have some. You can just do that. Okay. I guess I had some. Oh yeah, and some of these too. You receive lots of Pokemon materials from Nimona. At the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers and find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime if you need any help. We will, thanks. Remember, had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. The mnemonics help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember that you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. That way you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around or go battle on its own or other stuff like that. Oh, I pressed R instead of the other. Pressing the R button is a quick and easy way to tell your lead Pokemon, All right, buddy, let's go! Once you give the go-ahead, your Pokemon will set out on its own to battle nearby Pokemon or pick up items it finds in the area. When your Pokemon's low on energy, which happens when its HP is low, it won't be able to go exploring on its own. So if your Pokemon gets weak, try to heal it up with a potion or some other item. When your Pokemon starts a battle while exploring on its own, you won't need to give any orders. It can battle on its own with auto battles, meaning that you can keep searching the area for new discoveries while watching over it from nearby. Auto battle battles will be decided by the strength and the types of the Pokemon taking part in battle, so keep that in mind when you're choosing which of your Pokemon to send out on its own. Alright. That sounds like helpful information. I need healing. Can I register my birthday? I guess I'll just register my own birthday, like the real one. Piper can share my birthday, that's fine. My birthday was nine days ago. Happy birthday to me, as of this recording, nine days ago. That's correct. I don't know what this will do, but I won't find out until a year from now when I haven't... When I haven't been playing this game for a while, probably. Because I don't know if this game will occupy my attention for an entire year. Unless they add, like, DLC and stuff. We'll be expecting you on your birthday. Okay. Oh, right, I need to... No, I need to heal. I would like to heal. And so, I heal. Thank you. By the way, did you know? When you don't know where to go next, you can ask for help at any Pokemon Center. The staff here they can give you tips about where you might want to try. They'll register their suggested destinations on your Rotom phone. Alright. I would also like to buy a million Pokeballs, thank you. And by a million, I mean... Uh, let's not spend all of the money on those. How about 20? And then also some potions, I guess. Wait, I could buy revives already too, huh? I don't have enough money for that exactly, but... All right, time to go. Once we leave Los, Los Platos, we'll hit the best known spot in the South Province's Area 1, the massive hill on the way to school. You'll usually find trainers there who are just itching to battle. Good luck. Pokemon Center is a great meetup spot when you're getting together with friends. I guess I've decided not to do funny voices for this one. Maybe. 
This is Los Platos. Platos. I don't know. We're always happy to serve up a helping of hospitality to anyone passing by. Okay, this is not an encounterable Pokemon. What do you mean, gulk, gulk, gulk? That's an interesting sound effect for drinking. I'm all topped up. I want to pet the deerling. What a good Pokemon. Our desserts will melt your heart. Would you like some delicious, refreshing ice cream? Oh. Meal powers. Raid power, humongo power, egg power? I don't know what any of this means. Experience point power, catching power, teensy power? Uh, egg power? Teriyaki ice cream. Nakli salts. Strawberry, mango, fizzy pop, mint chocolate. I don't know what most of your bonuses mean. I do have normal type Pokemon, I guess. Um, I'm guessing experience point power is Pokemon of that type gets some more experience. Catching power is it's easier to catch Pokemon of that type. Humongo power and teensy power make it easier to find larger or smaller Pokemon of that type, maybe? Uh, item drop power makes it easier to find items. Catching power, I think I already said, makes it easier to catch. Raid power probably makes it easier to deal with raids of that type or to, like, get... Or maybe you get powered up in raids? Uh, I don't know. Um, are any of these helpful right now? I'll take one just because. I'll get your tasty treat ready in no time. Give me that iced cream. That's it. The power of ice cream flows through our collective veins a little bit. I'm pretty sure that these are bonuses that can also uh, be get, be get, be gotten, be obtained through picnics, which are a mechanic I've not been introduced to properly. So there are ways to just buy food instead of making it yourself. Fletchling, how cute! That's a Pelipper. That person disappeared when I approached them. They are ghosts. You know about Pelipper? You heard that Pelipper can carry people's letters and packages in its large bill? <laughs> Pelipper's a pretty good Pokemon also. I want to shake the tree and collect the coin or something. It's not the right video game. Nothing like relaxing on the grass. Well, I know what Pokemon team you would have chosen in the Splatfest. So that's what happens when you press R. Spider just going. I don't know if that's going to accomplish anything in town. What to do next? My followers are gonna love this! Pokemon has Twitter, we're all doomed. Okay. I think we knew that, though, because social media has existed as a Pokemon concept previously. You could take photos in, like, one of them and be told there was too much water and stuff like that. My girl is so good at math, you know. Oh, for mine, it's battle studies. I cannot enter this house. That's fair. Would not wish to intrude. Just kidding, I'm a video game protagonist. I would. Sure does take a lot of walking to get around here. Well, if you say so. Also, there's Pelipers on that house. It seems like a nice little town. Oh, there's a Tauros. The first one out. Pokemon at the head of your party will always be the first one sent out in a battle. Hello, Tauros. How are you? I'm guessing this is a new form of Tauros. 
Which is interesting. I wonder if they evolve. Because Taros didn't do that before, obviously. Maybe that's not obvious? I don't know. Let's take our time. Oh, that uniform you've got on. Tells me you're a student at the academy. No mistake about it. You know you can have six Pokemon with you at a time, don't you? No need to skimp. I do know that. Oh, yeah, you're the one whose followers will love a deer. See, we locals. Academy students who live here in Los Platos don't bother with the dorms, so we commute to school each day directly from home. Though the hill does make it pretty rough. Oh, me? I go to school every day and learn lots and lots about Pokemon and things. Like, did you already know that every Pokemon can remember up to four moves at a time? I did know this. Oh. What happens if you go- you manage to scramble back out of the water? Well, shucks. Are you... Okay, that's good. I'm glad to know this. I'm glad there's a little float. I guess I cannot capture you. Oh, this seems important. Arrest, TM. Can I sit on these benches? No. No sitting is allowed. Unfortunate. No rest for the wicked, as they say, except for the TM. Rest. Okay. So, I guess Pokemon that you see in towns can never be captured. Is probably a safe assumption. Ah, experience point candy is here. That's good. Pokemon we have seen so far. Stored power. Okay, and whenever you find a TM, it updates the list of TMs you can make. That makes sense. So should I be allowing my Pokemon to go destroy stuff or what? Oh. Well, the type did not match up, so... That's understandable. All these Pokémon are just approaching me. Um... Stop judging me! I'm leaving! I need to heal again already. Because my spider saw an Iglybuff and fell over. As many people do. So yeah, I guess you just gotta send out a Pokemon of a type relevant to the area, or not use that feature. That is also possible. Does it suck to work in an outdoor Pokemon Center? Like, you just have to stand outside all day long? No matter the weather or the temperature? Like, I guess it's... What are you telling me? Handy functions to remember. Oh, emotes, camera, outfitter, look, and notices. I did figure that out by mistake. It must suck to have to work outdoors, like, nonstop, right? Maybe it's more convenient for passing trainers, but... Not so much for the Pokemon Center employees, I think. Oh, this is still marked as my destination because it's the town. So yeah, I guess I could probably just go wherever I wanted, honestly, but... Thank you, I did. I feel like I should go to the school I've been enrolled in before I wander off into the wilderness, right? Like, that, that seems like a reasonable assumption to make. Yeah? Right? Like, they'd probably be concerned if I just did not do that. I thought that was a Pokemon. Hey, 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 I've got two! Hold on, there's a Gimme Ghoul. Give me the coin! Thank you. So I guess you don't have to fight trainers unless you talk to them, which is interesting. That's new. I got two whole Pokemon! Am I cool or what? I have like 70,000 already. 
Hair, the student. So we have... We have people that are the student, and we also have, like, student... I think? I don't know. Anyway, uh... Tarantula... Not gonna be a good matchup against the millions of berry types that exist around here. Not that I really have anything that is. I mean, I have Wooper, but I don't actually have any poison moves yet on Wooper. Good thing Azuril is doing nothing important. Houndour. I can use Wooper for this confrontation. I guess I will keep the ability to switch Pokemon on command available for now. It does make it a little bit more challenging, but... I don't know if I'm really in... I don't know if I'm really playing Pokemon for the challenge at this time. I'm playing Pokemon because it has a lot of good friends to make in it. You set Wooper on fire. Don't do that. It's very mean. It'll destroy you forever. I should have had Burn Heal. I win. Ah, my two Pokemon! It always wants you to know how many Pokemon they've got. When you battle, the Pokemon at the top of your team gets sent out first. Every Pokemon trainer's gotta know that. Good thing I knew that already. There's so many items to get. Item. It's weird. I'm kind of being encouraged to go off of the path to find item, but at the same time, all the trainers are on the path. But I want to fight trainer and collect item. Oh, yep. Netball. Well, I guess going off the path was a net gain. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay. That's fine. It's fine to say things like that. Now, who might you be? Over here. Some sort of safety worker, maybe. But hang on, there's item. Oh, there's so many item. There's a Squobit. There's a Pichu. I ran into the Pichu by mistake, but that's fine, because I need to have a Pichu. Greetings to Pichu. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Greetings to Cameo Hopip over there. So if a Lowland Raichu was on the news, or, like, in a presentation that we saw, or whatever. Is this Pichu going to eventually become a Lowland Raichu? Or... Or what kind of Raichu will a Pichu become in this region? Are we, are we getting to the point where regions can have... Like... Forms from other... Re what is that creature over there? Hey. Hey, I don't really care about whatever I was saying. What was that? <laughs> Despite this Pokemon's cute appearance, those who want to live with one should be prepared to be on the receiving end of its electric jolts. Be careful about this... this mouse that will shock you. I saw a weird creature. Tiny mouse Pokemon. That's true. Hey, I saw a weird creature somewhere. You. What are you? Whoa, what are you? You're a funky little shrewdle. Funky little creature. I need to know more. Funky little poison creature. Oh, uh, are you. Do you evolve into that weird monkey thing that I think I've seen? 
Because I do believe I have seen... Okay, you killed my spider. I will forgive you, I guess, if I have to, but... Okay, so that's a bad idea, because poison, I think, is good against fairy, right? That's a thing. I think I might know what you evolve into, but I'm not 100% sure. Looks like you have a little funky little gas mask type of situation, though. I don't remember the name of the Pokémon I think you are related to. But look at you! Look at you, you funky little creature! We've already reached the problem of having too many new Pokémon that we want to investigate. Covet. I forget exactly what that does. Stealing. Maybe that's useful? I don't know. Bread Dog can steal. Bread Dog the Thief. Tell me about Trudel, though. Toxic Mouse Pokemon. Okay, not a monkey. To keep enemies away from its territory, it paints markings around its nest using a poisonous liquid that has an acrid odor. I see. Well. Minus speed. Seems like speed is something you might want, Trudel. Sassy. Hmm. Well, for now, boxes, I guess. Maybe I'll try and find a Shrudel with a better nature. Oh, what's that funky tree? I want to know about that. Tell me about the weird tree. I'm already very curious about this world and the Pokemon in it. So the game has captured my attention in that sense. Hi. This dog is so bred. Made of bread. Oh, this is also an attack, right? I didn't notice that part somehow. That dog wiggling. I need to get a Sklovit as well. Hopefully I think of names for Pokemon and like settle on a team, but there's so many dang creature is the thing. I thought that that uh, spider over there was a shiny Squovit for a second, or something. Uh, I need to see your... Okay, you are neutral again. Unburden. Interesting. You have a different ability, so the abilities for you are Pickpocket and Unburden. Unless you have a hidden one as well. Switch graph view. I didn't notice that button before. Ah. Is that just your EVs? Do we can we see those immediately? That's helpful if so. Um boost speed if Pokemon's held item is used or lost. That could be good in competitive reasons. In competitive situations, scenarios. Uh, um, I don't want to use this Pokemon yet, because I want to see other stuff evolve. I gotta get the Squirrel. Come back here! I should know what a Squirrel is. There's one in my house. But I do not know the Squirrel. This dog will wiggle at you. Wiggling. Wiggle dog. 
Oh no, you've learned to counter wiggle. Well. This game feels like it's gonna be one of those games where there's just so much stuff happening that I'm gonna get distracted constantly. And that's good, I think, probably. At least in this case. No matter how much it stuffs its belly with food, it is always anxious about getting hungry again, so it stashes berries in its cheeks and tail. So Squovit is a stress eater, I guess. Poor Squovit. Unfortunately, I cannot relate. However, I can empathize. To the boxes with you! Where hopefully there is food. I would assume that there is. Or you're put into temporal stasis forever and you don't have to worry about it. Squovit loves mushroom. There's mushrooms in this game. That's good to know. I'm interested in that. I always gotta be on the lookout to see if I see any Pokemon that are an unusual color. Also items. To Mesagosa. Heading to school? Yes, but there's a berry. That's not the right item. Oh, this Pokemon is nearby. Well, hold on, I'm not heading to school yet. I need to catch a bounce sweet. A bonsley will also work. Bonsly, I guess, would be correct. Well, I guess that works. Fido is probably not gonna be able to do a whole lot to this uh, rock. So, I'm not really particularly well equipped. I'm not particularly well equipped to deal with a rock type. I guess as long as you don't have ground, this is fine actually. This will be neutral, at least, right? Yeah. There are so many Pokemon to see and capture and learn about and make friends with. I think they're already wondering where the heck I am, since I've stopped to catch like 70 Pokemon on the way to school. From its eyes, it can expel excess moisture from its body. This liquid is similar in composition to human sweat. Neat, I guess. Go to the box. Go to the box of friendship. And let's take a look at you, also. There you are, chillin' on a rock. Somewhere in nature. Hey, where's the bounce sweep? I was promised that Pokemon would be around here somewhere. I do not see one. Remember when I played Pokemon Moon a thousand million years ago and I kept thinking that Pokemon was called Bonus Sweet? They're not. It's bounce sweet. Because it's bouncy. Well, I don't have to catch every Pokemon in the world. Not right now, anyway. Anyway, let's... Let's battle this person. 
Got time to battle a fella like me on your way to school? I, I guess so. Reuben the janitor. Ah, okay. That's what you're... That's what you're doing. Janitors deserve respect. Good job, Reuben. Gulpin is probably a very helpful Pokemon for janitorial work. I think. Also, I'm glad to see Gulpin. I kind of like Gulpin and Swalot, actually. Don't know why. Not my favorite, but I kind of like him. Woof! Fido says woof! That's the sound a dog makes, even when the dog is made of bread. Safe journey, then. This road will take you right to Mesa Gosa, where the school is. Don't get lost now. Mesa Goza? Mesa Goza is probably how you say that? I don't know. If you present me with words and languages I'm not familiar with, I'm going to get them wrong and feel bad about it, most likely. Item. I keep expecting for some reason to see a, to see a shiny Pokemon any moment now. Just out of nowhere. Because I know that I have weird video game luck at times. Sometimes I have very powerful video game luck moments. If I go down there, what can I even do about it? Whoop. Am I just stuck here now? If I'm down here? I mean, I had to find out, right? Because if I go in the water, it'll just say I scramble out. Will it place me... It'll place me back up here, okay. I had to learn about the ways of the world. Gimme ghoul. Hey. Grant to me your coin. I wonder what the use of these coin is, anyway. I've gotten distracted by the wilderness again. Just running around grabbing items. As you do. I've worked my way back around to some kind of path. Hey, I have burn heal. I bought everything I need, I'm all set. <laughs> Who might you be? Perfect timing. You wanted to challenge me to a Pokemon battle, right? Sure, I guess. Carlotta, the student. See, bounce sweet, not bonus sweet. Woof! That's a good dog bark sound. I shall command my dog to wiggle. And all shall fall before the wiggling. Do you think when when Fido evolves, like they get baked or something? And I don't mean high. Oof! I stepped up and got smacked down. That's the way it is sometimes. Hey, there's another Pichu. I hope shiny Pokemon have like an indication of when they are shiny because some of them are not too different. Like if you see them on the world map, I mean. Because like some of the shiny Pokemon shades are not too different from the base color. And I don't know all of them. Like that Pichu was enough to make me go, is that the normal shade of yellow? And the answer is yes. Am I going to, like, evolve a Pokemon before I even get to school at this rate? That'd be funny. Who wants to learn Bite? It's Goville, right? Heck yeah, you can learn Bite. I don't need that. This is a game where- oh, there's a sun kern in the road. This is a game where there's a sun kern in the road. Sun kern was one of the first shiny Pokemon I ever found, actually. 
not counting the red Gyarados. Sunkern and Sunflora deserve some love, I think. I can see through the world briefly. And now my dog is floating. This is how dogs work. Ah, another bite. That's good. Well, I don't really need Tackle and Covet. Stop floating, Fido. Remember the ground that was there. It is very weak. Its only means of defense is to shake its leaves desperately at its attacker. Well, I mean, it's a little less rude than the Magikarp entry, at least. I guess. That's a lot of Sunkern. I love the little pictures, they're very cute. And I've worked my way back to the town, I guess. Guess there's multiple routes to go through. Might as well heal them. Well, uh... I guess this is a good, a, as good a place as any to stop for this moment. Nimona's hair forgot to stop floating until I was nearby, but that's fine. It's funny when that happens. Look at all these new friends we've already made, and this is only six of them. Next time on Pokemon Violet, maybe I'll actually go to school. What did I not know that this time? Lock on. I did know that. I did know that. I learned this. I figured this out on my own, but thank you, because I was taking a bit of... It was a bit of a struggle to figure that out. I think that child was, like, sinking into the floor for a second. Things seem strange when not quite observed yet by, uh, Piper here. Anyway. I don't mean to nitpick, I just like to observe funny little things happening. Okay, so next time... On Pokemon Violet, maybe I'll go to class. I don't know. They can't make me. They probably can make me. 